$2,000 stimulus check update and five major stimulus check changes, Social Security, SSDI, SSI, seniors, low income. If Congress does move forward with additional checks, an important consideration will be how to structure the aid program. Broad-based payments to all Americans proved extremely costly, and critics argue much of the money was saved rather than spent due to strong balance sheets among higher earners. To balance relief with fiscal responsibility, lawmakers may opt for a more targeted approach. One proposal gaining traction would allocate $2,000 checks specifically for Social Security beneficiaries, including those receiving SSDI, SSI, or Veterans Disability and Retirement Benefits. This group has faced high inflation that has eroded the purchasing power of fixed incomes. Checks of this nature could lift nearly 10 million American seniors out of poverty. However, excluding other vulnerable groups like the working poor may face political opposition. An alternative design ties eligibility to annual income limits. Individuals earning under $75,000 or married joint filers below $150,000 could qualify for $1,000 to $1,500 per person, with phase-outs above those thresholds. This targets aid at middle- and lower-income households most likely to spend additional funds. Payments to higher earners provide less economic benefit since they are less financially constrained. Distribution Challenges Distributing stimulus checks efficiently poses logistical hurdles. The IRS already mailed over 175 million economic impact payments in 2020 and 2021, using tax filer information, but as many as 8 million eligible recipients were missed, often due to lack of filing or bank account address changes. Paper checks are slower and come with higher administrative costs. One proposal advocates using existing Social Security and federal benefit systems to more quickly deliver electronic payments only to recipients with up-to-date accounts on file. While imperfect, it could get funds into the hands of those most in need within a matter of weeks rather than months. Coordinating across government agencies remains a challenge but ensures relief reaches citizens effectively. Fiscal trade-offs. Any new outlay must be considered against long-term fiscal sustainability. Directing hundreds of billions to stimulus widens the already massive federal budget deficit. Higher debt servicing costs could crowd out other priorities and constrain policy options in a future downturn. However, Stimulus advocates argue short-term relief that prevents a deep recession saves money compared to the economic damage of widespread hardship. Targeted fiscal support for lower-income Americans may provide the biggest economic bang for the buck by reaching those most likely to spend immediately. This balances concern for vulnerable groups with efficient use of taxpayer dollars. The right policy calibrates urgent relief needs against prudent stewardship of public finances over the long haul. As with all fiscal decisions, there are reasonable cases on both sides of this complex trade-off debate. Political hurdles ahead. Even if economic conditions clearly justify stimulus from a technocratic view, delivering the aid faces steep political headwinds. The now-divided Congress has proven deeply dysfunctional in recent years, unable to come together around many pressing national issues. Republicans traditionally oppose more spending and deficit hikes while some centrist Democrats also worry about fiscal responsibility. Midterm elections loom in 2024, and both parties aim to use the issue of inflation and economic management to their advantage on the campaign trail. For bipartisan support, any proposal requires navigating complicated dynamics around congressional procedures, members' diverse constituencies, and election year posturing. Leaders on both sides must make a good faith effort to negotiate transparently and find common ground where possible between reasonable positions. The needs of suffering citizens should remain the top priority in this complex debate over additional government support. The case for stimulus remains highly dependent on how the economy performs over the coming year. Policymakers are watching data closely for signs that justify intervention. Well-targeted relief focused on lower-income households appears the best approach to balance competing priorities if recession indicators strengthen substantially but approving and implementing such aid faces hurdles that require political courage and bipartisan cooperation. Americans in need deserve leaders willing to solve problems instead of just scoring points. As the economy continues to show signs of slowing, policymakers in Washington are taking a renewed look at the potential for additional stimulus payments to be distributed to Americans. While the overall job market remains stable for now, 
Certain economic indicators point to growing risks of a downturn beginning in late 2023 or early 2024. Rising inflation also threatens consumer purchasing power. In light of these challenges, direct cash payments could help boost consumer spending and smooth out declines in economic activity. Several critical factors will influence whether or not new stimulus checks materialize in the coming months. Unemployment trends. The national unemployment rate currently sits at around 3.8% near historic lows. However, initial claims for unemployment benefits have started to creep upwards in recent weeks. Should layoffs pick up substantially, it could motivate Congress to take action with stimulus. A rise in joblessness paired with high inflation would significantly weaken households' financial well-being. Checks could provide a buffer against economic hardship. Inflation Outlook While inflation sat at over 9% as of summer 2023, there are signs the pace may finally be slowing heading into late 2024. If the comedown continues, policymakers may feel stimulus can be deployed without significantly fueling additional price pressures. Bringing inflation under control is a top priority, so any stimulus would need to avoid reigniting inflationary forces. Checks aimed at lower-income Americans are seen as less inflationary than broader relief. Interest rate policy. In an effort to cool the economy and tame inflation without causing a recession, the Federal Reserve has been aggressively raising interest rates throughout 2023. However, additional hikes could easily tip the economy into contraction. Some experts argue stimulus payments may help offset tighter monetary policy and smooth the path to a soft landing. Lower rates would also increase the chances of lawmakers approving checks. Recession risks. A host of forward-looking indicators like falling consumer confidence, declining home and auto sales, and weaker manufacturing activity point to the building probability of a recession starting in 2024. The stock market has also corrected substantially from all-time highs. Typically, as concerns about a downturn intensify, Congress feels pressure to provide emergency fiscal support through actions such as stimulus checks. Global Policy Response Other major economies like China have already delivered considerable stimulus to citizens in the form of direct payments and tax rebates. If growth abroad continues to falter, it could negatively impact American exports and corporate revenues. Checks may help bolster domestic demand and offset weakness from overseas. International cooperation on stimulus also puts pressure on the United States to follow suit. Overall, most forecasters predict the odds of new stimulus payments being approved rise or fall based on how the broader economy is performing. If job growth remains solid but inflation eases, the case is less compelling. However, a combination of higher unemployment, deflation worries, and clear recession signals pervasive in financial markets would significantly increase the likelihood Congress passes another stimulus package. Checks would aim to sustain consumer spending through an economic rut while also providing targeted relief to lower-income individuals. Of course, the politics of approving new spending are challenging as always, but the economic argument for stimulus remains strong if downside risks materialize over the coming quarters. Lawmakers will be closely watching incoming data for confirmation of a slowdown warranting a renewed fiscal response.